how active are those microbes in the soil when we talk about breakdown? So many people are gonna mention rain. I get that, but let's be honest, a lot of the herbicides that we're gonna talk about here today, Darren mentioned HPPDs. I think about Stinger, I think about Flexstar. There are a number of different herbicides I'm thinking about that don't leach. They're gonna still be there. Does rainfall help a little? Sure, it helps a little bit, mainly because you get more weed growth and more crop growth to suck those things up. But what I'm after is more microbes in the soil. So what are the conditions where microbes really thrive? Well, they have to have good drainage. They have to have air in the soil. So if you had flooding, you're more prone to having carryover. And I know it seems weird because you go, well, I got a whole bunch of rain. Yeah, but you had too much. Now you killed a bunch of the microbes off. That's not good. If you have too much salt, that's not good. Okay, so we want to have good air in the soil. We want to have the right balance of nutrients in the soil. If we've got great overall soil health, that means we're going to have great overall soil life and faster herbicide breakdown.